Hey, it's Aran here. I'm doing a video on doing software reviews on Captera. I'm going to show you proof that Captera works, that you can actually make money with it. And this tutorial will not be an explainer on how it works because I already have a video on that on my YouTube channel. This video is going to show you the exact process that I do in doing reviews and how it works. So first of all, I got an email two days ago from Captera. And they said here, click the link below, write reviews on any software you use for work, and we'll send you a gift card for each review you write. For each published review, you'll earn $5 Amazon gift card up to 10 reviews. This is up to $50 in gift cards. So I've already clicked on get started. I got taken to each, okay? Now this page, I can then choose the different ones that I wanna do a review on. I've chosen Asana because I don't think I've done a review on Asana. So I'll do a review now. I've logged in with LinkedIn. That's how you can see my picture. So you do need to sign up with LinkedIn. That's my suggestion. Um, my title, I always say entrepreneur. Rambukai is my, the company name, which is me. Um, uh, the company e-learning, I just use e-learning. Company size, uh, it's, it's myself only. Um, free trial. Weekly. I'm a user, I'm an administrator. Uh, make it anonymous, whatever. I don't, I don't really care for it. Um, overall quality, ease of use, and value for money. Features, functionality. I'd say um, nine. I want to give it a nine because I got a little bit bit of negative feedback, but otherwise it's good. Excellent tool for free. What do you like the most about the software? I like the fact that Asana intuitive to use. I liked the fact that it was free. I like the fact that I was able to have an inbox. I liked the fact that I was able to have a to-do list with functionality of assigning tasks to peers. Okay, good enough. I have to do at least 100, so I've just done 244. What did you like the most? <coughs> I found that the more um, tasks I had, it started to become a bit difficult to manage, to be honest. Not that there was anything wrong with the software, it's just that the more things I had on the software to manage, the more complicated it got. Perhaps it was just me misusing the software. But I was drifting away from using it because it started to reduce the value and Overall business experience, um, good experience. APA team found value in collaborating. With me. And I did too. APA stands for virtual assistant. You said you're not a product. Uh, yes, kind of. I'll just say I don't know. Um, alternative. I, I don't want to talk about alternatives. Why did you choose Asana? No. Okay, it's by submitting. Good, submit. So let's see. Uh, hopefully that will be fine. Good. Now you all to go back to this page. Just refresh because this should show your reviews in progress. It should say one. If it says one, that means your review was registered. That's right. I did this a couple of months ago. So let's just.
Yeah, you see, I think it should say one, one recall. Maybe it doesn't. No, I could be wrong. Actually, don't. It's just, if you then don't do review stop now, they come back to you. you will say, this is how many you've done so far. I think that's how it works. Anyway, let's find more products. So, <coughs> and then don't use, don't go and keep doing here. What I do is I, I don't review now. I click it again, just on the safe side, uh, just because I don't want to do review to get paid for. I don't have time to do reviews, but if they're going to pay for it, I'll do it. You know what I mean? So that's, that's just how I think. Google Docs, pretty sure I did. Google Slides. Slack, I've used. G Suite, I've used. Go to webinar. Huh. Excel, Jira, OneDrive, Telegram, Numbers, Pandadoc, Buffer. I've never done one on Buffer, I don't think. Did I do one on Buffer? Let me just have a look. The way I know if I did buffer is if I see a review. Buffer. Nope. I don't think I have. Okay, so I'm going to do one on buffer. buffer. Buffer is a social media tool. So, um, Good, so let's do it again. Entrepreneur. Nice. Select industry, e-learning. Company size, just me. I've used free trial, uh, monthly. Make it anonymous. Quality, ease of use, value for money. Yeah, I found it pretty good. Oh, functionality, yeah, all good. Um, used it for a client. Um, I'm actually a paid user of later. However, in um, setting up a social media management uh, management um, service for a client, I needed to schedule posts for LinkedIn, which is not possible with later. Therefore, I recommend it to my client to use Buffer. And that's why I used it. I was pleasantly surprised with the ease of use. The biggest plus was having LinkedIn function and also the scheduler for Instagram was instant. What I didn't like about it, um, there wasn't anything not to like. What was missing for me is the feature later has, which is the linked dot bio a link in bio i think it is otherwise buffer would have had the upper hand if 
because it also has LinkedIn scheduling. At the LinkedIn bio, later offers was a winner for me. Um, great experience made it possible for me to deliver LinkedIn scheduling automation to a client. Switch for another product. I don't know. Just going to say, I don't know. I already explained it, so I don't want to complicate it. Yep, done. Bang. Done. Okay, let's go to, to, to again. <coughs> Where is it? Let's go to review and let's do it again. So I've got two done, eight more to go. Um, you should be paying attention to how long this video is going to be because um, do the math on that, how long does it take review in your box? And that's pretty decent, really, really, you think about it. Now, what more softwares have I done recently? I'm just trying to think, because I do, I do look into softwares all the time. Let me just play around. <laughs> Um, Cloudflare, I used that recently, new software that I've used, very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, okay, helps if you can type fast, obviously. E-learning. Myself only, free trial, other, make anonymous. Okay, Cloudflare, very good review of um, I had a very, um, they gave me a really good benefit. So ease of use, value for money, nine. Nine, I, I don't know enough to recommend 100%. Sold me a go daddy DNS headache. I loved the fact that it was free. I loved the fact that they solved a problem for me. Go daddy, making things super difficult. As they do. Um, I think not to like. I have not had much experience with it, but the single reason I signed up for a free account solved a massive headache for me. Okay. Excellent. The situation was that I was building a landing page for a client. I needed to connect their domain to my funnel builder. Um, and my client already bought a domain with GoDaddy. Therefore, I could not, for the life of me, connect a point the domain properly. I even engaged GoDaddy support twice to help, help me solve it, wasting hours. I had a tech 
savvy friend who recommended I try to bypass Godaddy by using Cloudflare. Cloud, Cloud what? Cloudflare. He walked me through somewhat on how to use it, and it worked like magic. Uh, yes, let me shame GoDaddy because they suck. GoDaddy supports and my service and usability is annoying. Difficult, slow, unhelpful. There you go. That's the truth. There you go. Thank you, Cloudflare. Oh, why? Why? Why, 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 why? Why did it not accept? Boom. Okay. Let's click in. Three reviews done. Trello, Survey Monkey, I've done those. Asana. Okta, iTunes, Salesforce, Windows, Sangrid, GoToWebinar, Wix, um, Pay Kickstart. Yes, I have them. Let me just have a little pay. Kick, pay, pay what? Sorry. Pay Kickstart. Just have a Oh, I haven't. There you go. Perfect. <coughs> Let's do them. Um. Okay, overall quality, ease of use, functionality, value for money. Yep, all good. 
we use um, they click start as a user, i.e. affiliate. Um, I love the, in the user interface, a consumer endpoint. Um, I love the tracking, it's highly accurate. Test it with incognito. Whenever I sign up for affiliate programs, the notifications when you get approved. A good, i.e., vulnerability comes to my inbox. Good. I didn't I like about it? Nothing not to like. Um, every affiliate program has been fine. I did have one issue once with a link, but it was the specific affiliate program I was using, um, not a Kickstart. Okay, overall experience, um, good experience. I affiliate a number of tools that I'm using. A big start is their affiliate tracking software, e.g., Fidelo, Doodly, etc. Um, yep. Submit. Okay. Give it a few seconds. Bang, we're done. Next one. <coughs> Go again. Click on review. Come on, come on, come on. Google Hangouts. I've never done a Google Hangouts review on that, but I've recently used it for the first time. It looks great. Um, Okay, Google Hangouts, great, excellent, value for money. Excellent quality for video conferencing. I like the fact that it is free. I like how easy it is I like the quality, video quality, I like the features available, just as good as Zoom and other competitors. some reason I didn't think much of it until a few weeks ago where I had a strategy call with a coach who used Google Hangout. I then had another one a few days ago 
In both instances, it was great. Let's look here. Um, nothing not to like about it. I have been so accustomed to using Zoom since everyone seemed to be using it. But I was pleasantly surprised once I used Google Hangouts and so how clean the interface is and how good the quality is. There is nothing not to like about it. Okay. Okay. Use Grammarly, by the way. Grammarly is excellent. Um, I'll have a video on my channel and I'll have a blog on Grammarly very soon. You could, you could Google around Bukai Grammarly and you you will come up. Uh, I, I just want to say I don't know. I'll just say no. Submit. Submitting. Bam. Another review. Now, by the way, you could always look at the URL here. You can see where it's coming from. That's how they track where it came from. It came from the email. That's how they know. All these numbers and all that, that's how they track. See, they've got a tracking ID. <coughs> May 20, what date it was, email. The source. Perfect. Okay, let's do the next review. Let's find the next one. Google Slides. Did I do a review on Google Slides? Let me just Yeah, I did. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't. I did not. Okay, so let's do Google Slides. Google Slides are great. Use them. Entrepreneur. I've used them for, let's say, one years. Use it other. I'm using I'm a better anonymous. Yes, over quality, ease of use, functionality, value for money, nine. Okay. Excellent quality for free tool. Google Slides is simple to use. The features are all clean and intuitive. User interface is super easy to figure out without needing a tutorial.
main thing that I didn't like is the inability or difficulty in uploading pictures. That's the only downfall for me. I prefer to use Keynote for this reason, but Google slides are great. Okay. Um, excellent experience. Used it a number of times. I find it better to use when I am doing a YouTube video. I want to present slides as part of it. The slides are on the platform, uh, on the browser, right? A bit quicker set up if I don't have images for the slides. If I if I do have images, I prefer to use keynote. Keynote. No. Submit. Yep. Submit. This was like two minutes. Let's move to the next one. Now look here. Look here. Look at this. Now I got six messages so far from Captera. Thank you for Asana. Thank you for Buffer. Thank you for Cloudflare. Cloudflare it submitted it twice. So I have to do it again. Thank you for pick, pay, pay Kickstart and thank you for Google Hangouts. So uh, one. Two, three, four, five, and six, because I just did Google Docs as well, not Google Slides. So let me go back to Coptera Reviews. Review. I have four more to go. Let's see how long this takes me. So PowerPoint, have I used them? Not really, actually. To be honest, I would love to say I did, but I didn't. Like, not enough that I feel confident I could do a review where I can give feedback. Like, don't give BS feedback. Give real feedback. Uh, don't just BS it. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think I've used it enough to know. Like, I've looked at slides, but I've not had actual use of it. Do you know what I mean? So don't don't vote reviews. Make a I'm not going to come back to bite you in the ass. I do real reviews based on software that I've actually used. Wix, Wix have so many features. I don't feel comfortable doing a review on them yet. I did use it, but I, I, I want to do it a bit more. I'm actually in the process of, of doing that. Um, and co I've used and co I was a subscriber. I bet you, I actually did a review. Yeah, I did a review on Endco. I did. Oh, oh. Let's see. Favro. Favro. I've used Favro. Five or four. Let me just have a look. I remember you use Favre.co, Favre.io. What's that? Favre.com. Let me just refresh my memory. Let's see that I use. 
remember stunning it, and it was beyond painful. Thank cool. I'm just stunning in so I can refresh my memory. Yeah, there you go. My trial was expired. Um, restart free trial. <coughs> Let me just refresh myself. Yeah, see, I remember that now. I found it beyond painful to use. You were painful. Make it a mess. There, I think we have the phone. We just look at their pricing. Yes, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I had to be on the Yeah. In the free trial and didn't like it. Uh, I like the fact that it had a ton of features, a million ways to customize. Things. I like the interface. No, I don't even like the interface. See, sometimes it's difficult because if this is a shit software, I don't want to give them like, what did I like about it? What did I like about it? I don't remember being shit. Um, Person, um, when I I sign up for software, maybe that's just me, but I expect to have it intuitive enough to use without having to watch a tutorial. Yes, if I watch tutorials. I can make better use, but I expect to have it simple enough to add instant value. Without having to watch a tutorial. This was not the case for me forever. Contrary to their competitors, such as Asana, Trello, and Airtable, all of which were easy enough to start making use of without having to spend a minute on tutorials. Um, now that too noisy as far as a user inter is, is concerned.
too many options all over the place. Hard to use, or at least not intuitive enough for my liking. Here you go. <coughs> Sorry, that's that's reality. Okay, two more, two or three more. Let's just see how long this takes me. Captera reviews. Try a review. <sighs> I've used way, but again, not good enough to, to do it. Right, I think I've used, but again, not enough to leave a review. Let's see what's... I know the one. Um, so many softwares. Live Storm. I use them very, very recently. Just make sure I get on them. Live Storm. Your question. On um, Tree e learning myself. Free trial. I use this daily, actually. You no, know, you can make me. I don't mind. I like. I love them. Value for money. I would recommend them. Yes, absolutely. Excellent um, alternative to Zoom. Livestorm is a great replacement for Zoom. I recently had issues with Zoom. I had to look for an alternative. Was able to have um, video lessons with clients and business partners without them having to download anything. Um, yep, very good. I love them. The webinar feature. It's free if you do 15 minutes, which is on me, as it forces me to do <coughs> short webinars, which I prefer to figure out the process of. Only missing feature for me is the ability to record the meeting so I can upload to YouTube or elsewhere if I wanted to. Excellent experience. You know the recording of the Meeting is a feature currently in beta, so looking forward to it. Um, the video quality is awesome.
requires no download. The webinar setup process a bit confusing. That didn't take long to figure out. Uh, yes, I did. Zoom. No, not Zoom. Zoom, Zoom meetings. I had issues with Zoom audio. Two more, two more, two more. Let's find. Let's do another one. Hunter, Hunter, yes. Just very, I'm 99% sure I didn't watch them. Yeah, no, I didn't. See, I'm getting more notification up there, letting me know I'm reviewing things. So, two more. Done. So, let's do Hunter. Definitely remember using them. They're, they're a, a lead generation company. Learning. trial make it anonymous quality abuse value for money is it searching for us for clients database Easy to use, clean interface, good quality results. My client gave a list of 600 plus companies and requested I find the emails. I <coughs> Did the work myself to start with, and then turned it over to a VA. I figured out the process and got good quality results. <laughs> to like about it, their pricing is. is reasonable only reason I didn't sign up is there was no need past the free message that was enough to satisfy my clients Also, I better
software for an LTD lifetime deal. So that helps me get the rest. Experience worth the investment if you are dealing with volume of email for companies to prospect. <coughs> Happy with that? Submit. Okay, we're done. Warm. Creative client use but not good enough to do you. Hello, sign as a as a consumer, not really good enough to do you. It is almost five here. Vistia. I have used Vistia recently. Let me just make sure I not leave a review. It's good. That's the best one to do. So I know them very well because I manage my client's Vistia account. I've used it for less than six months. I use this other. I am a user. I'm not an administrator, I'm just a user. Um, <coughs> clients existing account. Great quality. There is no doubt this yeah is super high quality video hosting. We have partners. If course holding companies such as 
which I am a customer. I think I do not like about it. Two things. A, the price is ridiculous. Twenty nine a month for ten videos. Yet, I am a Podia user. I have unlimited video hosting. It is the same player exactly. Partnership. See no point being with Vistia directly, although I love their service. Customization. Podia does not offer the player station in the player. Benefit of ink is young. However, no that this is as in my opinion. The love is 10 out of 10. Nine. For me. Right. Yeah. Is I've never buy Wistia myself. Where my client already with them and had a ton of content hosted with them. Before I started working with them. Now that I manage their Vistia account. I have had great experience from a user from an administrator. It is awesome. Glad not suddenly paying for it out of pocket. My feedback, here you go, and we're done. Uh, I'll be anonymous on this one. I can Let me just make sure to be anonymous. Yeah, make it anonymous. Okay. Oh. Over experience. As a user, I would not want to gain the price simply. Since it 
is my client who pays for it. This is not an issue for me. It is not my problem. I mentioned the account and nothing about the positive things to say. It is easy to use. A great product. You can afford it. By all means, go for it. Submit. Why is it not me? Price simply does not make sense to me. Since I am not the one paying for it, it is not a concern. If you can afford it, it, it is an excellent quality software and if you're hosting. Experience using it as a administrator. On. What is Oh, no, I see. I didn't finish clicking everything, that's why. Right? Ah, oh, for sick.
ease of use, functionality. What is going on? Oh, no. Maybe submit already? Okay, thank you for Hunter. I have no idea why this one is not working. No freaking idea. Um, oh well, I'm cut it off here. Uh, anyway, nine of you. If they want me to like, can we send me a message? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my 45. And what I make use of it, really, uh, buy software. Okay, so that's what I do, I buy software. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's how I do it. That, that's why I'm not just spending money. Or a 45 bus. And uh, there you go, that's how I review some Captera. I don't know how long this this is probably about an hour. Rough. Um, if you think about it, uh, forty-five dollars US for one hour of work is freaking great. So uh, there you go. I uh, hope you learned from this. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and do me a favor: leave a comment and say the word. I say, say just leave the comment, uh, Captera. Okay, just so you leave the word there, so I know you've actually gone and tried what I've done. Okay. And if you've already had your first question of sale, just tap the state I've had my for sale. Just so you know. Okay. Any struggle? Um, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer you in the next video.